you can almost sense the presence of Howard and Jane still in this bus in some way. Out here in Sydney, Nebraska, showing the Rob Van Vliet collection. This is a pretty special vehicle. This is a 1940 GMC bus, and not a school bus. This one was actually commissioned by Howard Hughes, and at the time he was working with RKO Studios. It was built for Jane Russell, while she was working on the set of a movie. This bus pretty much built to their spec. A lot of your bigger name actors, they would have a vehicle or a trailer that in between sets and takes and shoots, primarily out on location, it would be where they would change costumes, they'd maybe refresh their makeup, change whatever they needed to for their next scenes and sometimes too they were just a place to rest and relax or if they were way way far out on location uh, could even be sleeping quarters so this is one you can see it's had restoration work started on it's got new tires, they've sanded it down and started painting, and like any old Hollywood vehicle that's been in California, just pretty dry, rust-free. Fortunately, this one's not been used and beat up and worked to death in a second or third owner's care as a lot of times happens is these old trucks so this one's really unique survivor and one of those vehicles with just unique story that you definitely don't run across every day so here you can see the inside I mean it's just fitted out pretty basic but you can still see like the quality of the materials and everything that they used. Got the little eating area, the radio, there's overhead storage cabinets, little gas stove, the sink there. I mean, this is finished to a very professional standard very good quality materials used so howard at the time he basically helped launch jane russell's career and he definitely marketed her as an actress based on her looks based on her beauty and you can look up and read the stories about that the movie itself, The Outlaw, was really a groundbreaking picture. Howard Hughes was just one of those people that, you know, he had this tremendous creative mind, and not only for technological things, but also just on the practical side of making them work. Another really fantastic creative feat and thing that he took on that was groundbreaking was launching the genre of Western movies. And the Outlaws credited basically as being the first. It was Doc Holliday and Billy the Kid. And that story was told in Howard Hughes's genius, his creative mind. He actually used some creative strategies and tactics to get that movie promoted. He actually called to people that he thought would have issues with it being controversial, showing Jane Russell in the way that it did. He called it basically and complained about it, and that was something that generated creative publicity, creative buzz. Howard just, <laughs> he had a way of promoting the big projects and the big ideas that he had, and that was 
his thing. You can see the little vanity mirror there with the light. You can see the shower in there. Fitted out for being out on location and something western like that that was shot way out. You'd need a place like this to be able to take breaks. I'm sure out in the desert it was maybe warm and sandy, who knows. A vehicle like this would have definitely been a good place for rest and relaxation and functional necessity. People talk about show business and the key operative word there being business. It takes the crew, it takes the camera guys, it takes the script people and everything involved with the production on the shooting end, the editing end, and then the office to promote and push afterward and get it out there to the public. Howard was just one of those people that had that drive and had that passion and could see the big picture and not just an idea, man. He was practical, like he put them into functional reality. Overall, this bus shows a tangible relic and a tangible artifact of movie making and cinema history. It is a piece of transportation history. I mean, it shows in that era and in that time, the stylistic look of 1940 Art Deco styling in GMC's iteration. By 1940, 1941, it was pretty obvious on the world stage what was going on. And so there was military aspect and tie-in to GMC's manufacturing. And so little details from the parts bin that you can see like these little side marker lights have the little slit the purpose of that slit was just for more of a tactical presence out on the battlefield to be able to see just a bit where you're going but not necessarily alert yourself to the enemies that might be out scouting looking around. So any of those little details like the tow hooks were big truck and on the military trucks as well. The driver and passenger seats are in this red leather. Leatherette wouldn't be actual real leather, but I mean the quality of the materials that they used and just uh, the aura of this. I mean, I'm here in it in the presence of it and it just, it feels like you can almost since the presence of Howard and Jane still in this bus in some way. And that's a really important part of any of this stuff. You know, once that movie is made, once it's a part of cinema history, film history, these things like this bus are the tangible relics leftover artifacts of that process. Person can sit where Howard sat, can sit where Jane sat. Like the, even the little doorknob, like you see all the little scratches and the little, you know, marks in there. And just to be in the presence of an artifact that Howard Hughes and Jane Russell touched that door handle. This is a place where Jane spent time making this movie and it is a piece of our country's history, cinema history and celebrity history, Hollywood history.